Hi everyone, welcome to the Sunday Art Show. Today I thought I would start out by painting a part of the view from a country lane which is around about a mile from my house. Um, beautiful part of the Devon countryside and so I'm beginning just put in a line for a hill and the suggestion of a little grouping of trees there then a bush here and then there's a hedgerow which comes down here somewhere and we're just going to do a quick little 10 minute study of a sunny day in the Devon countryside so let's use this same blue this is a mix of Silurian blue and titanium white to put in the top of the sky and with a bit more water and a lot more white. Let's just soften that colour as we come down towards the horizon. Now I've lost some of the markings I've put down for the tree there and it wasn't intentional to lose those but it's okay. It's, um, I can pop those back in again in just a moment. So let's just scumble the brush across the paper Now I plan to use a combination of washes and thicker paint in this particular painting and I'm beginning here using a half inch, three quarters of an inch decorator's brush just putting on very thin amounts of cadmium yellow. And while I've got that on my brush I'll just use that to fill in some of this field as well. So it's a very thin layer but we may as well use it to kill some of the white that we've got. Next I'm going to do the same thing with this region with a kind of purpley grey. I've mixed this up using a combination of magenta and silver in blue and white and again it's a very very thin mix silver in blue and cad yellow now and now I'm going to begin applying the paint a little bit more thickly and just indicate some hedges along the top of that hillside there and then while I've got this colour on my brush I'll use it to begin working into the area of washes, the light washes that we put in to begin to introduce some shadowy areas. Quickly spraying the brush with water and we'll use that same colour to work in those cast shadows on the hill as well. Going darker again with some cobalt blue mixed with cadmium yellow and again adding the paint on a little bit more thickly beginning to pick out parts of a tree trunk and we'll also put in a nice block of shadow there for that bush and then we use that same colour to begin to block in a hedgerow and then there's a sort of a big growth of different bushes and plants here in the foreground so put that in
and with a lot more blue on the brush, we'll put in an extra layer here as well. So we've created some interesting textures and colour mixes. Back to pure cobalt blue. And although tree trunks, of course, are not cobalt blue, there's no harm in experimenting with colour. And I'm using this, the, just the very edge of the brush, to pick out the indication of some distant tree trunks. Sticking with that same colour, but with some magenta on the brush, A similar technique, but slightly thicker lines. For the undergrowth here. And I'll use some of that same colour to work into the shadows too. And let's put a bit, let's put a bit of that down there. There we go. And while we've got that same colour on the brush, we could work it into this little area here pick out a couple of trees up there on the top of the hill. And why not work into the shadows a little bit more? Now we're going to go really dark ultramarine blue mixed up with cadmium red and burnt umber and that's going to allow us to put in some really deep shadows. We'll use that same colour applied rather more thickly here in the foreground. Quick spray of water on the brush. And we can blend that in to this part of the undergrowth and work into this region as well. Near black now with ultramarine blue mixed with the burnt umber. Well, I say near black, it's a, it's a deep blue really, deep bluey brown. Putting in some darker shadows and again we'll make this front, the bottom right hand corner very dark. And just a hint of that same colour here. Pure cadmium yellow next with the big brush. And just popping the very tips of the bristles. Just tapping the brush onto the paper. Mixing in some of that with ultramarine blue. Same technique, tapping the, the bristles on the page. And now I've gone back to that blue I used for the sky, but I've actually mixed in a load of white, that same colour. And I'm using that same tapping technique I've picked up some cobalt blue onto the, br onto the brush now. And 
And finally, we're going to do a similar treatment with the tops of the trees here. With some pure white. And we want to bring this bottom right hand bush a little bit closer. So to do that, I'm going to use some rather better defined marks. So this is a mix of, sort of part of the brush is covered with magenta and the rest is covered with pure white. So as I angle the brush in different directions, we're getting different effects. I've mixed in some little touch of cad red and a little touch of cadmium yellow onto the same brush. Same technique but with a deep green now. This is a mixture of ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. But I put it straight onto the, the already dirty brush, so it's not too bright, not too harsh a green. And I've changed to a flat brush now, and I'm just using some pure titanium white. Pick out some highlights, perhaps flower heads. And we'll use that same brush, but with some watery yellow to put in some blades of grass just growing up over the base of these hedges. And there we go, for the purposes of this little quick sketch, this little painting, I think we'll call that one done. We've got a couple of minutes over the 10 minutes, but uh, let me just show you a better view of the finished sketch. So there we go, there's a better look at the finished painting, or the finished sketch if you prefer, of the Devon country scene. Um, Quite happy with the way I've sort of captured a sense of light in this one. There are some areas that I would improve if I was going to spend more time than the 10 to 12 minutes that I did. So for example, this bush I would probably give a different treatment to and I would work more carefully into the shadows, I think, in this mid-ground. But on the whole, I'm quite happy with this one. I like the composition and I may end up using this composition in combination with uh, an animal painting. So for example, what I might do is use this basic setup, have some animals in the foreground here. And I also like the fact that this is a portrait orientation, but it's a depiction of a landscape. And that kind of forces you to compose the frame in a rather less the conventional way. And I find that quite interesting. So I hope you enjoyed watching this little demonstration. If you've got any questions at all, remember to leave them in the comments below the video, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, please, and also press the notifications bell. Uh, either way, I hope to see you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.